Welcome back to the channel. Today we are out somewhere a little different for me, but not so different for the regular viewers of creators on the Yorkshire coast. I'm down at Sands End. Uh, as you can probably tell from the microphone, it might be a little windy, uh, but I'm hopeful that it will get easier as I go around the corner. Uh, so that headland behind me he will start to block some of the wind. Uh, but it's a lovely day, if you haven't yet seen. Uh, absolutely beautiful out here. Uh, some big news for those who haven't been here recently. Uh, the way down to Sands End has changed a lot. The stairs are still just about there. They've been relocated from where they were, uh, which was a little further along up here. Uh, and they've now been uh, re-embedded because they had come loose in some of this extreme rain. The bottom is still not uh, embedded into the rock, so it is wobbly and not for the faint of heart. Likewise, as you come down, all of the steps and guides that have been put in place have pretty much come away. So please don't come down here when it's been wet or uh, particularly wet or wavy because it will be really difficult to do if not incredibly dangerous. And don't come down here with small children. It would be a mistake. Anyway, let's go on and see what we can find. Uh, the remains of a very big ammonite. My guess is possibly a Lytoceros. Uh, but you do get some really big Harposterus and Phyloceros potentially from around here. So we will keep an eye out as we go along. Uh, not the first on the beach, there's one more person down here just before me, even though I'm here about as early as you can get. Uh, but we will try and keep away from each other so we don't interrupt each other's fossil hunting uh, and see what we can find. Yeah, just a decent duck. A little squished, but should be all right. Yeah, and right next to it, a big chunk of bone. Probably fish, but could be a chunk of rib. Yeah, so we'll just hang around and do a little bit of search in here. Yeah, a lovely little nodule with a bit of keel sticking out. There's another bit there, and there's a nice crack running through it. So I might just give this a tap, just to see. Unfortunately, that crack ran through the ammonite, so the outer whorl has broken. Uh, but you can see a bit of belemite phragmacum, which is what I thought was another keel. Uh, I might just leave that one, but I uh, can always pick it up on the way back, leave it on the top of a rock. Just was sweating down one of these boulders in the hope that there might be uh, something more exciting, but there's a very squished deck in it and some more shells. But I'm looking for another Harposterus, and these are the sort of nodules i got to just keep going for. A little partial Elegantiserus by looks right in the bed. Just tapping away on this nodule and saw this bit of uh, keel sticking out. It's like, ooh, probably a pseudo. So I was hopeful. And it is a pseudo. Uh, it's not the best preserved ever, uh, but always worth taking home and just seeing. Always interesting. So we've got a couple of Ellie's and partials, and then a line of nodules, which makes me think that in those nodules could well be some Ellie's, but I'm not going to dig them out. Uh, whilst not protected, uh, I think it's a, a bad thing to be doing is digging out nodules just for the sake of it. Others will do it. I don't blame them, but not for me. Well, there was, I think it's probably a harpo, but it could be a clevy. I can't see quite enough of it. You can see the edge of a keel here, but it's broken through on both sides. I might just tap this down and see if that might come out any nicer, but I am going to doubt it. Sadly, I suspected it did not want to come down any nicer. Uh, and it's a super sticky pirate nodule. So I'm gonna leave it there, sadly. And that hurts. I uh, just tapped up in this nodule. I wasn't sure what it was. Uh, but I think it's a very squished hildy. Uh, so badly squished that when it's open, it's split. And not going to be coming back with me. Game okay, of spot the fossil. And I've tried not to put it directly in the middle, just to be a minor spoiler. And did you see it? Nice little deck. Perfect. Just saw the bottom of a very worn ammonite and tapped it open, thinking it was just a deck. Uh, but it's not. This is another Cleviceros or Cleviceros, my pronunciation. I was always wrong with this. Um, but the way you tell that it's not. Uh, a harposterus is if you look at the ribs they kind of make a little a nice little smooth s shape whereas harposterus ones which i believe are falcate rather than falcoid or vice versa uh, they are much uh, sharper in that say uh, that top s bit uh, which makes it look more like a sickle and right next to 
my clevy or clevisceres, big old chunk of wood that I've just picked up. But that will stay here anyway, but just to show it. And sadly only a partial, uh, but that's a harpocerus. Uh, and again, if we just have a quick look at the shape here, you can see this is a much more curved section before it comes down onto the, the lower part of the ribs. Uh, and if you've just wondered what's rolled away that I had in my hand, a duck. And something a little bit different again. So this is coral, but uh, not from the Jurassic, like all the rest of the fossils around here, that would be Carboniferous. So about 350 million years ago. Uh, so that makes it about 170 million years older than the rest of the stuff around here. And it's got here probably through a bunch of glaciers depositing it on the top of the cliffs, which has then been washed down by erosion. Yeah, some funky big chunks of fishbone, uh, but all fallen apart and uh, far too far gone for me to even think about trying to take that home. That's just to show off. What looks like a couple of little ducks in this nodule, a little seam of them running around. Uh, so we'll take that one home as is. Yeah, plenty more bits, but no whole ones for me today, doesn't look like. Although this one here underneath looks like it might have a more of a center. So I might just see if I can get underneath this. Uh, it's going to destroy that top one, uh, but it's uh, already done, I think, the outermost world anyway, so. As always, standard safety reminder. Midsummer, whilst it doesn't seem like the cliffs are going to be as dangerous because it's not raining, or at least not raining as much, it's England after all. Uh, <laughs> the cliffs are continually active uh, and it is worth keeping as far away from them as possible because anything that comes down may still kill you. Oh, another little species for the bag. This is a Paranoceros. You can just probably hopefully see. Node, 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 nodes, nodes, nodes. So we're missing a section there, um, but I'm hopeful that the rest in the middle should still be there. Got a nice Bellamite here, Bellamite guard, uh, other Ostrum. The, the pointy bullety bit, not a bullet. Um, so if you see those, uh, fossil, not modern. Um, but squid-like creature, there's a thing called a fragma cone at the end, which is a nice cone-shaped segmented structure. And then the tentacles would come off the back and it would look very much like a squid today. And then just after that bellamite, we've got a nice little hildoceros and uh, you can see the keel there running around. It gives it that distinct hildy appearance. Yeah, so that just gives you an idea of where I am. I've come all the way back to, to get up point. And uh, yeah, there's a hypocerus in the uh, pebbles here. <laughs> I'll need a prep and I'm not convinced it's gonna be great, but uh, yeah, there you go. That's, that's where you find them, right, right at the start point. So that's gonna wrap us up here today at Sands End. Not a super abundant day, but I don't tend to find an awful lot at Sands End. Uh, but what I come down to Sands End for is hypocerus. And uh, I'm hoping that one right at the end is a good one. It needs some prep work for sure, um, but we'll wait and see. Uh, but what I can say is it's quite a lovely day, uh, wind excluded. Uh, and as you can see, it's not too shabby all the way along the coast over to the Whitby headland. Uh, it's a little busy as everyone is on their school holidays uh, and headed to the beach. Uh, so I suspect uh, it's gonna be like this pretty much everywhere on the Yorkshire coast for the next sort of month, month and a half. And therefore fossil hunting will probably be a bit challenging but that's how it goes. And I'm hoping that with all the people down on the beaches, all the kids, uh, that we'll have a lot of awareness about safety, but also a lot of good finds. And that's the important thing at the end of the day. So thanks a lot everyone for watching and I'll catch you all in the next hunt.